Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jaded here with an update to my quest to new PC. I know a lot of people have been asking, you know, uh, what's, the, what's the current state? If I made, you know, enough money yet? Where, you know, where am I at? And for those who haven't seen the first video, don't know what this is all about, this is where I used the Real Money Auction House to try and fund a new PC. Um, in the last video, I had gotten to about $100, and uh, so I'm gonna go over where I'm at now. Now I just want to say this is uh, this is this has been a really slow burn, and uh, it's kind of it's kind of off-putting when when the first few people that started using Real Money Auction House were getting like two hundred and fifty dollars sales right off the bat, and uh, you know that that doesn't seem to uh, happen anymore. So um, let's take a look at where we left off first. Let's see here. I believe it was at. Uh, the Savage Scourge here. So this is where we left off and uh, as you can see big gaps here on stuff not sold It's kind of the the trend for me um, But uh, you know starting here with the first item that that we uh, that we got Hellcat Waste Guard. I bought this for 70k and uh, it, it was one you know, it's one of those items you find on the AH that's just completely undervalued um, And I don't know if this guy didn't know the price of of, of this particular belt because you can get this belt with max um, discipline and this one had eight discipline you put it up for 70k the other belts were like you know a mil five or something I think they're like a mil seven now um, so obviously it was a misprice and he didn't know with that discipline it's worth a lot more um, so got a good deal there and was able to sell it astonishing force and this is kind of where I have a problem with the auction or like how the auction house works is like I would love to be able to click these and show you guys what exactly were the stats on this because that would help out a lot but uh, you know can't do that so um, I'm pretty sure this was a twink weapon you know I've been selling a lot of those or trying to sell a lot of those uh, when, when I first started doing this I picked out like 15 weapons or so that, that all had reduced level requirement on them and uh, yeah, this was just uh, this is just another twink weapon. I, I can't tell you what it was. And then uh, scrolling up here, slam metal, another twink weapon. This was a really strong fist. Um, it had 16 level reduction. It was like 100 and, no no 860 something uh, damage on it, and it only had like. 100 int like it didn't have any other interesting stats. It just really high DPS with uh, a lot of reduced level reduction So I was able to get a good price for that and uh, Since then I haven't been able to sell many twink weapons um, You know, I sold this one here. This was a This was a pull arm it had like 164 dex 100 vite Honestly, don't remember the DPS, but you know, it's all around the 1k mark and I, uh, you know, was trying to sell Natalia's gaze. Didn't work out a few times. Same with some of these other set items. Um, this belt, I tried selling a lot. You can see. Uh, eventually sold it. It was a belt, and the unique part on this specific set belt was that it had 170 strength. And so, you know, I'm guessing some bar picked it up. Um, you know, was able to sell it for about 20 bucks. And then uh, the interesting thing here is Natalia's Shadow. Now, if you know about what happened with the set bonus, basically Blizzard came out and said they're not going to change how the old version of this set works. So um, if you don't know about it, when you get four piece bonus, you get like this broken stat for discipline where you never run out of discipline, um, you know, for the most part. And uh, so that, that really, um, people started buying a lot of this uh, Natalia set the ring obviously being the most expensive part at like 30 mil now. And uh, so um, when I found one in, in my farm video, I found one of these and I saw one was really underpriced. It still had, it had like, uh, it had like 55 all resist and decent stats on it. So I picked it up, it was 10 mil and all the other ones were like 14 at the time. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll just resell it along with the one I found and you know, I decided to try my luck on the Real Money Auction House with it because it was kind of, um, I don't know, it was kind of just flooded on, on the Gold Auction House. So uh, I was able to get a good price for it. 
I mean, if you if you do the like mil per dollar, like it's it's pretty decent. Um, it's not the best. I generally try to get about ten dollars per million. Like that's my goal, but it doesn't always happen that way. And um, you know, as time goes on, it's slowly becoming about five dollars per mil is about what you're gonna get. But the interesting thing about this item, since Blizzard came out and said they're not changing past legendaries or this specific set, is uh, it started sell like it started the price started to go up because people started seeing like a value in this maybe in the future if they fix that set bonus or, or change the set for the worse. Uh, people might really like that old version of the set and the price might just skyrocket even more than it is right now So it's kind of two part for me that I sold this at, at this price because if I sold it now it's worth like mm, Maybe a hundred dollars so it could have potentially netted me some more money however like since I got it only for nine mil it sells for like 17 mil now which is kind of crazy, but uh, you know I'm still happy that that I got you know that that it sold. Anyways, little little tip there. Moving on, battle break. Uh, again, I wish I could click these. I'm pretty sure they're just twink weapons. Um, that's pretty much all I've been selling in terms of rares. Um, but yeah, that was the last one I sold, and you can see huge, huge line of not sold at the moment. I think I'm gonna have to change up my strategy. If you look here on what I'm selling, I've dropped a lot of the prices on, on these twink weapons, you know, $7.99. I was originally trying to get like $20 at the start uh, for this kinda, it's kinda, it's kinda trash. Uh, but it's still a really good twink weapon in terms of like, you know, if you're leveling, it's just not amazing once you're 60. And, uh, you know, still selling some of the twink weapons, some of the cheap 60, uh, you know, two-handers that I have. But uh, almost got rid of all of them. These are pretty much all that's left. And uh, I'm also selling this here. This is something I found really cheap. I, I, I'm pretty sure it was way underpriced. I found it for like 5 mil. And uh, it has 80 crit damage, has lifesteal, and... Everything else in the similar range on the gold auction house is like, I don't know, somewhere around 10 mil. So I uh, got a really good deal on it and trying to make, you know, some money on it. Other than that, not not doing too much. Um, if you go back here to this specific ring, I was trying to get $250 for it because uh, at first glance you might, you might look at it and go, it's not really worth $250 like what makes this so expensive <clears throat> but uh, if you go and look at the at the gold auction house not only is this an extremely rare ring for whatever reason nine attack speed just doesn't I guess spawn on a lot of high stat uh, items like there's nothing really similar at least in the 150 plus dex range and that's kind of where this ring shines is how much dex is on it and of course, it's a it's pretty much a monk ring. Um, you could use it on a DH, but uh, it's really for a cold monk, and so it's kind of hard to find like a cold monk looking to spend money and you know willing to pay that much for a ring. Um, so I'm gonna go back and try to sell this on the gold auction house instead of the real money auction house because I tried like two or three times now and nothing uh, seems to budge. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. I thought about selling my offhand and trying to make money on that and then picking up something cheaper. But uh, I, I don't know, that's really the hard part with this. And where I, I have to make sacrifices is like, I want to gear up my barb to the best of my ability, you know, for PvP or whatever, because I know it's going to really, it's going to really matter in PvP, like the gear that you have. And uh, that's kind of the downside of PvP in this game. I think, you know, like, it might not be so bad, I don't know, it depends how they handle the stats, if they reduce them in some way for PvP, but uh, yeah, I'm really just trying to gear out my barb the best of, to the best of my ability, and then on the side, try to do this, it's really like, it pushes your budget to the limit. So uh, what, what I decided to do, instead of, um, instead of going for the 1500 I originally sought out for, I'm gonna make it a 1k, just flat 1k, 
and uh, try to get to that goal because I feel like that's much more attainable uh, other than, you know, I don't want to be here for like, I don't even know, like the way this is going, like I could be here a long time <laughs> trying to get $1,500. Um, so I'm going to go down to the 1K mark and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out the video card um, because that is the part where I feel like I can update that later at any time. And, uh, you know, people might think you're building a gaming PC without, you know, a video card. And on, on some level that's true, but I can take the video card out of my current PC, which is, it, it's, it's poor, no doubt, but uh, it'll, it'll suffice. And really what I've noticed is the most time I spend in this game is actually, uh, or the most time I spend doing this YouTube thing is actually in, you know, some type of Adobe product uh, or, you know, rendering. It's not actually in the game. Like I could run into this, I, I could open this game and kill stuff for like 30 minutes, get content and spend like six hours editing or, or four hours editing and then 12 hours rendering. So, uh, you know, the, the CPU really is gonna affect that a lot. So I wanna get it as fast as possible because I wanna make better content for this channel and, uh, and do more work on this channel. Make the channel the best I can, because, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's everything to me right now. So that's what I'm gonna do, guys. And uh, the, total, the total price I'm at, I'm at, uh, I believe it was $265. I think I added it, added it all, all right. And uh, yeah, so we're about one fourth the way there. And uh, I'm just gonna keep trucking on. And if you guys have any questions, or any suggestions. Um, I'm definitely gonna change up my plan after after some of this, you know, some of these sell. So uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes after that. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. So uh, I'll see you next time.